Good evening everyone and welcome to Sugar and Crumbs. It's gone half past six, I know. I've just come out of the hairdressers <laughs> late. <laughs> so I am now here, thank goodness. I'm sat down so we know it's not too drastic this evening. And tonight we're going to do some painting. We're going to paint a cake board ready for the cake next week. So we're setting up a two week project. So this week we're going to be painting the cake board and then next week we're going to put the cake together with all the chocolate mould and everything else that goes with it. So I'm going to talk you through everything Thing I've set up and then you'll be able to work out what <laughs> Morella's in by the way <laughs> Sorry. Good evening, everyone. Hitch. there's no Kelly this evening Morella's in you can hear her oh, <laughs> she's got to turn the volume down Sorry. that's fine anyway so Morella's in this evening good evening <laughs> <laughs> made me jump then. I Sorry. Thought, Who is that? Yeah, of course, you, you were taking you. a call or something. It suddenly oh. made a funny noise. Anyway, we are here. Um, so we're going to do some painting tonight. I've got a little board set out and I'll show you all that on the camera shortly. Um, we're going to do a slightly different sort of um, layout in terms of a cake. So we're not going to be doing um, a round cake or a square cake. We're going to be doing a rectangular cake because the overall effect that I want on this cake is going to be different from anything I've kind of done before. Let's do something odd you know what I'm like like to do something different <laughs> Morella's here they're saying hey Morella hey. <laughs> yeah Morella's here tonight Kelly's in London so we haven't got Kelly with us tonight so it is me and Morella Kelly will be back on um Saturday I've just read Doe's comment she's put there have you seen what she's written no she's put hi I'm, I'm ready to be tortured <laughs> <laughs> she's got an addiction that's what the problem is. She started cake painting and blames me. Uh, well, I know. Uh, yeah, well. <laughs> yes, you're about to become... Uh, she put a post up today of a cake and said, my last cake of the year or something along those lines. And I said, yeah, but I'm painting tonight. She went, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Let's just throw everything out for you and Little. start you all again. Yeah, exactly. Now, um, what do I got to say to you? So we're doing some cocoa butter painting tonight. Now, over Black Friday weekend, I'm just going to leave my bar up just for a few more seconds just so I can explain what's going to happen. So over Black Friday weekend, we had a 50%, not up to 50%. You know when people say up to 50% and then you go online and realise it's not up to 50% except for about three items. We had a 50% off Facebook Live classes on my school website. There it is, tracymancakeschool.co.uk. The offer's finished. However, while I'm live tonight doing painting and until midnight tonight, so you've got between now and midnight, you can go back onto my uh, website and you can put in the code Black Friday on the Facebook Live classes and you will get them for 50% off. I can't do a better deal than that for you. Um, that's because we're clearing the way, ready for some new Facebook classes that are coming out next year. So Facebook Live classes also includes how to price your cakes, which is a huge topic, which absolutely everybody under the sun likes to talk about and have a question or query about pricing. So if pricing has been something, it doesn't have to be cake painting, this is not all cake painting, but so if you're interested in how to price cakes, you can pick that class up for 50% off. There is Colour Theory with Kelly. So again, that teaches you how to do all your colours. So working out how to mix and match your colours. And Kelly is also going to be doing a new class in February next year. Details to follow. Uh, then there is also the cake painting classes that are on the Facebook Live. So the Facebook Live classes are classes that I taught from basically March last year through to now. They were live classes. So the recordings are already there for you. And all you need to do is go on to the school site, Tracy Mountain cakeschool.co.uk and then pick your classes from the Facebook live section please do not go on to the other section they will not be discounted so if you go on to other cake classes or the main cake painting um, section they will not be 50% off but the Facebook live classes are so just until midnight tonight okay that is it this is Nikki's the final offer Nikki's Nikki is she's on it she's on it she's good girl <laughs> She's my online PA. She yeah, got promoted she today. She, oh. <laughs> Through me. Oh, she, <laughs> um, she knows what I'm talking about. So um, if you would like to, if you're feeling inspired after I've done this demo tonight and you would like to stock up on Facebook Live classes on the website then and get 50% off, then just use that code Black Friday. Make sure you capital letters, no gap in the middle, just Black Friday all together and you can get yourself a nice little deal there. So... Um, stock up while you can because it's not going to happen again so you've got between now and midnight and then that's it it's all switched off so there we go who's thinking about royal icing on my top 
Donna. Right, let me switch that off. Okay, so we are going to do a full-on Christmas scene. So we're going to be doing um, Santa's fireplace. So that's going to be the cake next week. Now, I've already made the chocolate mould. So if we get time, we may paint that tonight. Um, if not, we're going to do the board for sure. So we're going to kind of see how much time we get over the course of these two. Let me take that down. Over the course of these two um, weeks, basically. So we'll see how we go. See what happens. We'll make it up as we go along. Um, I have got a rough plan, though. <laughs> It's not all made up, you know, I do have a rough idea what's happening. So, cocoa butter painting, for those of you that have um, seen me do it before. So, I have an online school, hence what I was talking about before. I was just looking for my tape measure. There it is. I can always find my tape measure in here, but I can never find one at home. Do you, but honestly, it's so annoying. I know, I need to have this literally yeah, put on my neck. That's right. like, like a <laughs> so I don't lose it, I know. Um, Jenny has, has mentioned that she tried to buy some classes over the weekend, but after three tries, she gave up. Um, after taking every detail, we would not sell them to you. Have you any ideas? No, try now. That's the answer. Try now. <laughs> try now, if not, email me and I'll do it for you. So um, it's uh, it's uh, often, before I change the screen, it's not us. It's PayPal and the payment systems. They get quite um, particular about the security, especially when there's loads and loads of transactions going through the site, which often there is when it's busy, like Black Friday. And um, particularly postcodes. We've had this discussion with some people before. If you write down... Um, your postcode without the gap in the middle and in lowercase because you know we all go ahead, just quickly tap it in or sometimes if you use something like autofill that can really throw it out you'd be surprised it's getting ever so fussy these mm. security systems yeah. which is good really yeah, we should good. be pleased yeah. um, but if you do struggle with anything to do with my website just just drop me a message I'm always happy to help so I might not get back to you immediately but I will get back to you eventually I'm just trying to alter my camera so you can actually see how big this board is I might have to hold it up actually so we're doing a rectangle shape actually I'll hold it up so you can see it right there we go I'll hide behind it <laughs> you don't need to see me now um so that is a 14 inch by 10 inch board okay 14 by 10 and I'm going to put a cake on it that's going to be oblong which I've already marked out you might not be able to see it on here mm, vaguely it's kind of a very pale green color I've literally just done it a few minutes ago but the cake itself is going to sit about there so the cake when I've done it will be approximately 10 inches by about six um, that's the kind of space that I've left so it's going to be like a sort of bar I guess a bar kind of cake something along those lines. So that's what I had in mind versus doing um, a round or square cake, something a bit different because I want to do this fireplace um, up against the front of this cake so that when you look all the way around, it's just going to look very Christmassy. That's the aim of the game here, mm. very Christmassy. Tracy, where's the revolving turn? Oh, I've had that years, ah. absolutely years. Um. You have to bear in mind I've been doing cakes for how many years? 30 plus. I probably have that <laughs> 20. So. Um, ah, okay. <laughs> no any, idea. Any ideas? Honestly, uh, no idea. Okay. That's terrible. But if you uh, Google it, I'm sure you'll find something. Uh, okay. I think I bought it in before the days of the internet even. So uh, there you go. Okay. Well, Diana <laughs> was, was given one last year, but it's died on her. Oh dear. Yeah, have yeah. a Google. I'm sure it'll come up. Right. I'm trying to give you the best possible view here with this. I'm going to just take my camera up a little bit higher just so we can see what's happening. It's kind of over half and half, really. You need to be able to see. I'll put that in one corner. How about that? Well, I'm looking at my other screen. Lindsay, yes, Tracy has had her haircut. I've had my haircut, I know. Yeah. And whenever I've just had my haircut, it's always very short and horrid. I quickly change the screen. <laughs> <laughs> no it's not right okay so <laughs> um this is a chrome food warmer i have actually already lit my candle that's underneath there uh, we don't sell them carol doesn't sell them they are um they're from where do we get them from amazon chrome food warmer um what's the other word wax people have been using those wax or the wax milk things mm. some people have been using those mm. um, if you don't have anything like this these are not mm. expensive they're like 10 pounds or something um, but also um, you can get just use like boiling water as long as you change the boiling water um, so it doesn't get mm. uh, cold and your cocoa butter will set then that's fine so let's put some cocoa butter on here let's have a little look at it there we go so you can see it melting really really quickly 
I bring that forward a bit. There you go. You can see that melting there. A couple more bits in there. We don't need very much. And now we're going to put some colours on here. So I was talking to another group the other day about what is the best colour for Christmas, hollies, those kind of things. Um, we've kind of concluded that moss green is the best colour for sugar flare. So moss green is what we're going to be using to do some of the kind of green painting tonight. Um, you can't go far wrong with yellow and red so we'll get those in as well and probably off screen a tiny bit at the moment so we're using dusting colors okay there we go dusting colors might have all been well used i'm just looking for the red actually oh what did i do yeah christmas red no not that one oh. i was going to use that one i was going to oh. use red but i can't oh. see it I've had a tidy up, you see, which is always fatal. Hold on, there's another paintbrush there. Right, where have I put it? If not, I'll run round and Where do you want me to look for? Well, it's more a case of us sort of trying to get round there. <laughs> oh, heavens! It's going to be another one. Shall I see if I can find it first before otherwise? Oh, jeez. I'm going to put the other camera on for a second while I... Otherwise, you're just staring at my board. Instead, you can stare at me trying to find things instead. I'm going to sit down while I try and find my... Hold on. If I move that light, otherwise, I literally am going to cause myself an injury. Yeah, Morella's, Morella's on the move now. Christ. Aren't you? Hold on a minute. Just as you get round the corner, because my stock is directly in front of me, you see, when okay. I'm on the camera, I'll find what I'm looking for and then I'll tell her. Oh, Morella... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Don't tell me you're just oh. <laughs> You need red, everybody, just so you know. Oh, God. Damn it. <laughs> just remember, we're live. Absolutely okay. no Don't swearing. Swear. Don't, do not swear. <laughs> Got my right potty mouth. Um, All right, ready for the light? Yes. Ta -da. Ta -da. We're, we're relit again. <laughs> Honestly, what we like. Let's go back onto the other camera so right. no, no one can like see our on no one can see our level of chaos. <laughs> oh, it is. I believe you may. Let's put some brown in there so as it's well. It's nice and calm when Kelly's on. No, so it's, it isn't. We're normally <laughs> peddling. Um, yeah. So we have got uh, what have we got? Red, white, yellow, brown, moss green. We need black, oh. which is the one I have to put away from the board. There we go. Otherwise, that goes everywhere well that will do to start with and then if we need more colors oh no i was going to put this um sugar and crumbs wonder dust bright gold best color ever so we'll have some of that as well the theme really was to be red green and gold so i've covered my board in um a pale green color so there we go so that's a pale green color that was colour splash leaf green. So I'm not painting this. This is not a white background. It's actually pale green. Um, now, what else do I need? Was that it? Oh, I might put some. Let's put some cerulean blue down as well. Why not? Let's put that in there as well. Because I do want a few sort of colours in my Christmas decorations, but I don't want to go too mad with it. So put that in there. <laughs> okay. Welcome to chaos. Here we go. <laughs> Now, what paintbrushes have we got? Let's have a little look, shall we? So we have got, well, that's not even one of mine, so let's find one of mine. And we've got a zero, a three, a zero, zero, and a two. So I need a number one. Let's find a number one. Can you please put your um, email address on so that if anybody's got any queries, they can email you. can you. always go, yeah, don't, try not to use Messenger if you can, because mm. I don't, really resp i lose track of people on messenger i hate mm. it please use my email via the website or something else because otherwise i just end up losing track of it right here's my board that's where my cake's going to be and what we're going to do we're going to use the patchwork cutters we know the lovely patchwork cutters from marion frost and we're going to use those to set out our board so the first one we're going to use is this one here this is called candles okay we've not used this one before so with patchwork cutters i've been using them basically to get yourself something down so that people are then able to paint um on there without having to worry too much about um actually you know painting something freehand this gives you a bit of a guideline so we're going to have candles either side here so let's put that in position and then what we'll do is we'll just press it down like so so you don't press too hard she says there we go now if it's gone down too far if you just take your finger 
put some icing sugar on your finger just to, and just go over the top there that just kind of brings it back up again because we just want an outline like that okay very basic outline you're not going to be able to see this massively at the moment um it will become more apparent as we start painting now so this is patchwork cutters it's called candles it's very straightforward it is called candles there is a big one and a little one the little one we'll use next week the big one we're going to use this week and then we're going to use the christmas midi set so this is a set of little pieces that's all i can describe and there's a little bauble there's a little christmas tree now i've been using these to decorate gingerbread houses for those of you that follow me um, they are really handy for doing little bits and pieces they're like little snowflakes as well a little bit of um, what's that mistletoe so all sorts of things so i'm going to pop this one here a bit of an angle i think let's try and do that there so basically what we're going to do is use some of the patchwork cutters and we're going to just sort of merge what we've got and just kind of create a bit of a sort of a picture going along the front here so again we just sort of move that up there like that so again that's fairly straightforward now what was i going to do i was going to use the holly one so there's a little holly one there it's quite small again this will become so much more apparent when i start to paint so i'm sure at the moment you may or may not be able to see absolutely everything um, we will pop where should we put that one let's put that one there right in the corner again you can just turn them around until you get them into the position that you want them to be and if you see me doing this it's me just bringing it up if you press too hard with patchwork cutters you can end up with quite a big sort of hole in your sugar paste then all your paint's just going to run straight into it and it's a bit of a pain so that's why i'm doing it now snowflakes so um let's have a look i did vaguely plan this out everybody vaguely being the word <laughs> what have we got here little snowflake so we'll put a snowflake here I'd like it to be quite random really I don't want anything sort of too much in a straight line so we'll put that up there and we'll press that down there we go that's very nice bring that back up again like so and then perhaps we'll put the other another piece of holly sort of about there maybe so that's that piece but now I've just turned it round so making a little collection of something or other here, I think. And then maybe another little snowflake there, like so. And then if you like that one's not marked that well, you can always put it back on and just press it down again. Try and line it up. Don't do a me. <laughs> Might do that again, actually. I've not quite done that right. Got a one time to get this right. There we go. That's better. So candles, baubles, snowflakes, very nice, that kind of thing. And then what we'll do, I'm just going to move my cocoa butter out of the way for a second because we're going to have to move this across. Oy. So we're going across to the other side now. So if I leave it like that, you'll be able to see the sort of what I'm trying to aim for here. Now, where's my candles gone? So we're going to put candles on this side as well. And we'll move that over a little bit. So the edge of my cake, I've marked it on there. Obviously, we don't have the cake at the moment. But when, if you are planning to do a cake um, on a board, just make sure you put your boundaries in because otherwise you tend to go, oh, yes, I'd like that here and here. And then when the cake comes into play, you can have a bit of a problem on your hands. So we will put... It is quite faint on screen, so you, we can't really... Um, Geraldine's made a point. You'll see be, it. You Yeah, it will... You, it will yeah, come it out. Will come out. It's just the, it's not the lighting. I think it's just the. It um, is just the way it is. Yeah. But as we start to paint, it will become it will more apparent on. because if yeah. I hold it up, you can just about see mm. it. It isn't the greatest bit of marking, but actually that's okay because what we don't want is it mm. to be too um, deep. Deep. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to be a real pain. So let's put a little present here next. Trust the process. Trust that's the process. That's what you tell me. <laughs> Right, let's press that down there. So yeah, bear with me. It will. If I press down too hard, so you mm. can all see, then it will become a painting nightmare. Quite honestly, so I don't really want to do that too much. No, when you lift it up, you can see it better. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I've marked the board there, so we're going to have to put something there. So we've got a little present there. Let's get another bit of holly in there somewhere. I'm trying not to create patterns. Um, oh no hold on i've got mistletoe here let's do mistletoe i don't want it to be too staged i'd like it to be quite sort of random so i'm trying there we go to 
let's put that piece around there to make it look as different as we can so it will come the sugar paste is moving around a little bit because I only did it literally about five minutes before we were due on let's put that back in again let's press that down okay there we go right <laughs> So, so far, this is Christmas midi set and candles. That's what I'm using at the moment. If anybody is thinking what she got there. Nikki's put the link up. Nikki's put, oh, she's good, isn't yeah, she? She is. she is. That's why she's been promoted. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's put another snowflake in there. And then we'll do another one. Okay, I don't mind these being a little bit mirror image. I'm okay with that kind of like the concept that it's mirrored but not the same so we've got the candles that's fine and holly mistletoe yeah different things presents and stuff so and then what we can always do if we want to is we can always take this across the bottom so this is the mistletoe again where's the holly gone there's the holly so we can always use this to extend this out a bit further if we want to let's turn that is that the palette that you um, is it just a painting palette? So it's a metal paint palette. It yeah. has to be metal because you need it to stay hot. Okay. Okay. Is there a question on that? Yeah. Um, Elizabeth is just asking there, is there if can I ask the name of the heating melting palette you are melting the cocoa butter in? Well, that's a not the chrome food warmer. Is that what she means? Or do you mean the metal paint the palette? The heating melting palette. Okay. So it's on a chrome food warmer. Yeah. Let's put one more. What have we got here? Mistletoe. I would like it to have joined roughly in the middle, she says. But what I want to do is kind of have my design here and then bring it down so that I don't end up with it coming right the way across here. I want a gap here and that will become the reason for that will become apparent um, next week or later on, depending on how we get on. We could put a small candle in the middle, maybe. Or a small candle. I don't think I want a snowman. I think the candle is going to be what we're going to do and it will make more sense if I do that. So we'll put the little one in the middle. Like so. Right, that's what we've laid out so far. I'm just going to go back in and press that down a bit further. Nikki's put the link up, bless her. Oh, she's good, isn't she? She's on the board. I tell that, you, I'm half asleep tonight, Nikki. That, the, that, promo that promotion's she, gone to her head. <laughs> right, okay, there we go. She is good. I'm just too mesmerised what you're doing. That's my problem. That's what happens. You're concentrating. Yeah. So candles, candle in the middle. That's nice. That's a good balance for us. And then we've got a bauble here, present here, holly, mistletoe. We've got a little bit of everything going on, so that should be fine. Okay, we're going to move the board across now, and I'm just going to keep shifting it backwards and forwards, and then I'll bring the paint palette in as much as I can. Um, but we'll have to just kind of see how we go with it and see what happens. So we're going to use all my paintbrushes that I use are numbered. So as you can see on there's paintbrush number one. And we use, there's paintbrush zero, zero, number two, all sorts of different brushes. And these are what I use to teach with. So when I'm teaching my classes online, sorry, I'm off camera. When I'm teaching my classes online, I say to people, we're now going to use paintbrush number one or paintbrush number two. And that works really well because then everybody can follow along and make sure they've got the right paintbrush in their hands. So we're going to use paintbrush number one. And um, we're going to use paintbrush number three if I can find it. Now, paintbrush three, I'm going to keep this out of the cocoa butter. So I'm not going to actually get this in the cocoa butter. I'm going to use that to do a bit of blending. And I'm going to use paintbrush number one to do my paintwork. So we're going to do a red, um, it's kind of a reddy green gold type theme, something along those lines. So if I move this across a little bit here, just turn that round. Okay, so I'm going to dip that into the cocoa butter. I'm going to pick up some red. I'm going to mix that there. And then I'm going to grab some white. And I'm just going to, sorry, I have to get this straight, otherwise it's moving. There we go. So we're going to make like a sort of a salmony pink colour, I guess. So it's not going to be red immediately. And that gives us a bit of room to do some shading. If we just go straight in with red, we can't do anything. Um, we need it to take it make it a little bit lighter. So we'll go in with that to start with. Now this candle has sort of a waxing thing going on the side of it where the wax is kind of sort of burnt down. So we'll just paint around that for the moment and we'll just concentrate on getting the basic um, candle done and then I'll come back and we'll, we'll tackle that later. 
So all we're going to do at the moment is just paint the candle and this is where you'll start to see it. Once you've actually put one coat on, it becomes a lot easier to see on camera. So I apologise at the start because otherwise it does look like there's nothing going on. I bet you can see that already. There you go, that's better. Much better. So I'll bring that down. I can hear someone outside the units. I've, I've just about to say, I bet that's a delivery. Honest to God, their deliveries have been delivery. coming so late. Not to you. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Really? Yeah. Oh. I would not be surprised. Hold on, let me check. No, not for you. No. No, not today. Unless he's left it on the doorstep of the other unit, that wouldn't surprise me either. Oh, okay. oh don't worry. Right, so, was it a delivery driver? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go around this bit up here. So this kind of bit that's coming over the candle here is where the sort of, um, I guess the wax is melting, isn't it? It's like those really sort of creepy candles you get in haunted houses. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not a fan of candles. Having them as in It's something to do with living in a thatch cottage as a child. Oh, oh God, I know. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's my well, it's uh, my mother's probably watching, mm. so I have to be careful what I say, but yeah, I lived in a thatch cottage when I was uh, a, a um from the age of 7 to 23, mm. and so I'm very nervous about candles and it's sort of stuck with me a little bit. I don't really like them with um Obviously, I don't mind them for cocoa butter painting. That's that's different, but you're very conscious about turning it off. I've noticed. Yeah, probably because yeah. I was scared of burning as as, my own house down. As soon as, as, soon as we're done, you're like, right, turn it off. Like, wow. Oh dear. Right. Okay. <laughs> I noticed you steady your hand when you paint. I'm well. grabbing hold of my wrist to stop yeah. my hand um, jigging about all over the place. Mm. So I'm going to do that one and then I'm going to just move that across. So we're going to just go off screen for the moment. Let um, me just move that round here. And we're going to do red candles all the way across. So we've got to do all of them. So we'll do these ones here. Now these are much tinier, so just be careful. I'm still using brush one, but if you wanted to go down a size, you could do at this point. So cocoa butter painting, everything about it is about building up layers. So always the first bit of paint looks a bit kind of, yeah, that's it, okay. It's the second and third layers that make it come alive. So you have to kind of, again, it's just wait for the process to happen and you'll see it change. Okay, so that's that one. And then we'll do this one here on this side because I want to have them all the same. I've also got a candle Christmas class if anybody wants to have a go at painting candles, but it's a freehand one. So if anybody likes the ideas of candles on their Christmas cake, there is one on the cake school. It's not part of that offer tonight. Don't forget what I said. The Facebook live classes are on offer tonight only till midnight. So if you want to pick up on that, then nip over to the page and pop in that code Black Friday and you'll get 50% off Facebook Live classes only. But there is a Christmas candle class if anybody wants to have a go at painting that. And it doesn't involve patchwork cutters. Um, it is using, you are drawing it on freehand actually, and it's a very nice class, that one. I've got it behind me, I might show you later, if I remember. Okay, so we've nearly completed that. And then down here, and that will be that done. Okay. I know quite a lot of you have been painting cake boards. One lady in particular who's on here at the moment has been a machine factory of painting. <laughs> But I'm very pleased and encouraged that you are all jumping on board with this because it is a really nice thing to do. So let's have a look at that. So there we go. We've got those done there. You can see the candles are on there. Um, now, because I've got red on my 
um, paintbrush at the moment, I'm going to use that red to do the berries on the holly because there's no point in me cleaning my brush up and not doing the other pieces of red that are around. And don't forget, this isn't pure red at the moment. This is um, red with white in it. Even though it looks like red when you paint it, it has got white in it and that will become more apparent when we come back and shade it. So I'm just going to put the red berries in. So when you're doing an overall paint, have a look at what you're doing and make some decisions. If you can see there's something of the same colour, then use it before you clean your brush up again. Otherwise, you're just kind of wasting your time really a little bit. Keep cleaning your brush. So we'll just go through those ones there. So hopefully you should be able to see those picking up quite nicely now. And then we'll do this one here over in the corner by the candles. Now I'm actually going to use the red on the um, bauble here as well. So let's do that. Okay, let's grab that. So don't forget we're still on this um, mixed colour. So it's not red. It's sort of a salmony pink colour. Now, what brush have I got? I'm going to actually change brushes to zero because this is quite narrow. So when things get narrow, we change brushes and we go down to a smaller brush. I'm just going to move that in there a little bit. And we're going to just take this down here. So I'm going to do every other one because I want to use that bright gold that Carol's got. Which is really nice. That gold wonder dust is absolutely lovely. Bright gold. I've used that one a lot. I've probably used that one on Christmas as much as I use the purple one the regal purple whatever it's called I think it's regal purple um which i was using on halloween i think literally everything got coated in it on halloween um, the other one i really like is frozen blue that was one of the first ones i did the one with the candy shop house and if you can't remember or thinking what she's talking about then nip over to my youtube channel because everything i do on here and on other places i put all in one place on youtube so you can nip over to youtube and have a look that was gorgeous, that one. Which one? The, the frozen. The frozen blue uh, one. Yeah. It was a really nice yeah, colour, nice. wasn't it? Really nice. Okay, so in order to make this sort of match a bit, I'm going to go across to the parcel and I'm going to just paint some of the stripes on this parcel as well, red, just so we've got some degree of consistency here. It'll all come down here. So my brush now is zero because we're getting into some very tight gaps here. Where are we? Uh, let's see. And again, this is just layer one at the moment, so it's going to look a little bit... Um, I always think it looks a bit flat. I know it's flat anyway, but you, it just looks a bit flat. It's the process, it's the process isn't it? <laughs> right, okay. So, oh, I'm going to come off the camera a little bit there. Let me come down there. Okay. Right, so we've got red kind of going across the whole thing. So that's good. So that gets us started. Right, let's turn back onto these over here. We'll bring the cocoa butter back in. I'm going to have to keep shifting things around because this cake board's quite big. And I want you to be able to see some of the mixing as well. Tracy, as... do me a favour. Just lift the palette up so people can see the food warmer. Oh, what, that's underneath? It. Yeah, it's not it's hot. hot. Yeah. <laughs> no, just, very, just very quickly so people can see the food warmer. There you go. It's hot, everybody. It. <laughs> Are you torturing me? <laughs> Just so people can see it, because yeah. you don't sell the food warmer. Well, you don't no. sell the food warmer. I'm just getting myself well, in the Nikki's kitchen. Just saying it can, you can buy it on Amazon, but yeah. just so they know what it looks like. Okay, so if you want to clean your brush, just dip it in the cocoa butter. And I just normally twist it on some kitchen roll, just like that. It's much quicker, much easier than nipping over to the sink and fiddling about. Cocoa butter is nice and cheap, so you don't have to worry too much about um cleaning it that way right let's put some gold in so we're going to leave the candles and everything to dry because we need everything to dry before we can add a second layer so we'll just move on and um, we're going to pick up the bright gold color which is this one here which is lovely and um, we're going to just paint the inside edge of this bauble which is a beautiful color this is wonder dust bright gold love it if you haven't got it already, it's the nicest gold I think I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of golds over the years. So I would strongly recommend 
you put this in your kit and I'm not on commission I'm telling you now it's a very very nice colour so there we go so my, don't forget my red's not at full strength at the moment so let's just clarify that the food warmer is separate and the palette is, is separate it's separate. So it's two separate items you sell the palette and you can get the food warmer from somewhere like Amazon yeah the so food two, warmer is two separate items yeah the food warmer you need to pick that up <clears> from Amazon yeah okay so we'll pop that on there like that and then we're just going to paint across the bauble bit there so that's going to connect to that like that there we go you can see that coming up now and then what we'll do let's clean that up I'm going to do that bow red actually I've just decided so am I going to do it red or am I going to do it Green. I'm gonna do it green. And just I to think. clarify that you used the patchwork cutters, didn't you, to, so to the, emboss the, on the yeah. cake board. So the patchwork cutters are candles and mi Christmas midi tonight. That's what I've used. So candles is one, Christmas midi is the other. There's also a really nice one called holly and mistletoe, ivy mistletoe and holly, or something like that. That works really, really well as well. If you wanted just to have that kind of thing, that would work. Right, moss green is a really nice colour for doing holly. Um, so I'm going to just grab some white and just mix that in there like that. So we're recommending um, moss green for holly colour. Woodland green's a bit dark. Spring green's a bit too limey colour. Moss green is a good colour. So if you're looking for a colour to do something like this, that's the one we recommend. Okay, so I'm actually going to do the bow green, I think. So I'm just going to paint around that bit. Now, if your paint gets really thin, you just need to add some more dust to it. You're right over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> I keep getting hot and cold. You can turn that heater off if you no, want. I have to put my booster on Monday. Oh, well, there you go. Right, so we're going to paint that green. So again, you're just following this along. Don't forget this is green with some white in it. Like so. There we go. Yeah. How's that coming on? <laughs> just reading Doe's comment. And then we're going to do the holly. So again, we'll just take the same colour. So don't forget again I keep repeating this this is layer one so it's just a case of getting paint down at this point before we start doing any shading what happens with cocoa butter painting lots of people embark upon it and they paint something in green and go there you go and actually you can do so much more with it just by a few little thing little twists here and there makes all the difference so that's what I'm basically here to try to encourage you to do is just to take it to the next step okay Another bit of holly over here, so we'll do that bit. Like so. You just need to keep your eye on this when you're doing patchwork. Are we still on screen all right? Yes, we are. Yeah. Good hope. Sometimes I'm painting away and I don't realise that I've gone off screen. There we go. So this midi set has got the present, the bauble, the holly, um, the candles are on their own, okay, so don't get muddled up, okay, these candles are on their own, part of their own set. So while we've still got green on, let's move this across a little bit. Okay, we'll get the moss green. Pick some more up, add some white, and then we'll go for this as well. Now we've got mistletoe coming up on the other side. I'm probably going to do that in woodland and woodland green. So I'm going to go and grab my other colour in a second um, because I don't want it to be the same shade of green as the holly. Otherwise, it's all going to look a bit similar and I don't really want that. So I'm going to just switch that up in a second. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Otherwise, you'll be leaping across. It's dark green. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in there. Cool woodland green. It's the one I use quite a bit. Oh, look at that. Have you found it immediately? Yeah, of course I have. <laughs> Genius. I can't find the links, but I can find a colour. That's fine. There we go. Sorry. So add it in a box. There we go. How are we doing on there? There we go. 
Yeah, you don't need to. I'm just reading somebody's comment, and Jackie's just written, You really do not need to be able to paint or draw to do cocoa butter painting, especially when you're using something like patchwork cutters. But if you don't want to use patchwork cutters and you fancy actually having a go at doing other things, then as I say, that's where my classes come in. And as I say, I've given you a really good offer this evening. So if you are just joining us now and you would like to get 50% off a Facebook Live class tonight, on my school site then do go over and have a look because it's a brilliant offer and it will be ending at midnight so you've only got between now and midnight to do it so we've had it on for black friday i've put it on again tonight because i'm live doing painting so if you want to stock up on a few classes have a little go lots of little projects on there things like painting unicorns and painting what we have got elephants little baby elephant Floral heart, that's um, that's more of a freestyle one. They're not all with templates, some are, some aren't. Sometimes it's quite nice to get one without because then it, it sort of puts you out your comfort zone a little bit. But it's all step by step, so you'll all be fine. And if you get stuck, then you can ask me. There we go. Right, that's all the holly. Because don't forget that is mistletoe on that side. So there we go. Let me bring that down there a little bit. Doe's warning people about getting hooked. Mm -hmm. She is the most hooked person I <laughs> ever. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, what do I do with those wonder dusts? Um, there's a box of them somewhere. You see a box of luster colours somewhere. It's because I tied it up today. Oh, I know. Um, where are they? They're in an open grey box what did I do with them they're probably staring at us they've got pot on oh, where's that pot gone Morella? you know that gold like that mm. there's a load of them in that look like that oh okay and it's open there's that green there on the side it's open mm-hmm oh I put it in one of my incredibly special places <laughs> Well, if you spot it, great. If not, don't worry. We'll adapt it for something oh, else. Woodland green. Well, did you give it to me? Yes, on the side. See it? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Brilliant. You're hired and promoted now. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> Everybody's hired and promoted. Yeah. So I'm just using... I'll tell you what I'm getting because I know my candle's still going. So we're going to use woodland green, which is there's woodland green there. Now woodland green and moss green, I'm going to just hold that up across. So that's woodland and that's moss. They're two very different shades of green. That one is good for holly. This one we're going to use for mistletoe. Okay, so we're just going to grab some cocoa butter. We're just going to mix a little bit of woodland. This is a very small brush. It's only a zero, so I need to be a bit careful with it. Put some white in there so that it goes back a, a shade and then we'll move that across again I seem to be moving everything around this evening multiple times and we'll go over this side and we'll just do the leaves on this one Again, it's all marked on there for you. You're not having to sort of guess, which is quite nice. So if you want a bit, just kind of concentrate on the painting, then patchwork cutters are superb for this because you don't have to think when you're doing it. And I have been using patchwork cutters quite a bit in the last few weeks. So we did stag and snowflake one week. So we used that on one of the cakes. And again, as I say, if you are struggling or thinking what you're talking about, do go and have a look at the YouTube channel afterwards because there's loads of Christmas cakes on there. I know a few of you have already have had a go at um, that kind of idea using the Wonder Dust on the cakes. That's come out really nice. Okay, a little bit on there. And then we have got some much bigger mistletoe on this side. I think that's come out for midi set. Right. My patchwork cutters have ended all up in one bag, you see. So I open the bag and I have to try and find out which one belongs with which. So I have to keep contacting Marion and saying, which one does this go with? <laughs> all right, there's a big mistletoe there. 
got a big one and a little one. So it's nice to have a colour, oh I'm off screen, sorry. It's nice to have a contrast of colours there. Because if you've got a contrast of colours of greens, because green is one of those colours. Um, I've got spring green, gooseberry green, moss green and woodland green. And all three, all four of them paint completely differently. And I don't think you can have enough greens, to be honest, in your kind of kit. I think green is a really key colour. So if you want to stock up on any different shades of anything, green is the one to do because it works brilliantly for flowers and all sorts of things. So go for it. I'm not looking at a lot of the comments. So Geraldine has asked. Because I've got my head down looking at this. Do all of your courses start from the beginning of what's needed to how to mix the cocoa butter and colours? Yes. So your cocoa butter one, the kit that you sell. Yeah has the colours and the cocoa butter and the palette, doesn't it? Yeah, so yeah. basically all of this, um, yeah, so yeah, the cocoa butter courses do show you how to mix everything as you go along, just like I'm doing now, but in a more detailed way, because obviously it's a paid course, so there's more detail involved and shading and all these other bits and pieces. The joy of this is it's just really nice and simple to do, and that's what I try and do on a live, is try and keep it not too complicated, but just enough that it will kind of make you go, oh, I think I might have a go at that, and then kind of go from there. So I'm just going back to my gold because I'm going to do the present on this side now. So um, what should we do? Let's have a gold bow, I think, yeah. on this one. Do you approve? Yeah. Because you went, hmm. Mm. Mm. So we'll have a gold bow, I think. So we're trying to stick with our colour scheme as best we can, but we'll probably go off a bit at some point. So this is the, now with Lustre Dusts and Cocoa Butter, you find that it, you will get really good coverage, really good. Um, but you'll also find that you'll use more. So Lustre Dust tends to sort of um, pick up on the, the Cocoa Butter. So just be aware of that. You'll need a little bit more. I'll take it down to the bottom there. Like so. Again, layer one, so nothing too much to worry about at the moment. So there we go. Okay. Right. Uh, where are we going? Back to this bit now. So let's have a look at this wick of this candle, the flame, I should say. Not the wick, it's the flame, isn't it? Let's change brushes again. Let's go back to brush one. Uh, we'll just clean that up so it's got red in it. Although, having said that, I'm going to keep my red in there. Grab a bit of primrose and we'll make an orange colour. And then we'll stick a bit of white in. Tracy, um, Jamie's got a knickers and a twist with these classes. I'm missing much of the lesson trying to get sorted. I have emailed at BT Internet. Okay. And um, please, Marilla, could you ask Tracy if that's okay? So it's btinternet.com, isn't it? Yeah, but I won't look at it tonight. No. It will be tomorrow because normally when I finish a live, I go straight home and jump in the bath. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. And sometimes, if the buttercream decides to play up, I have a glass of wine in my hand. Good. <laughs> right, now I'm me. making a mess of this. I'm supposed to be mixing an orangey colour, and I don't know what I've ended up with because I was chatting. Anyway, there we go. So, red and, red and yellow. We'll get like an orangey colour. So, there we go. We're going to do our flame. We'll just put, again, just put one layer down to start with. Don't worry about what it looks like too much. We'll just get it, get it down. Looking good. Christmas board. Okay, let's move that along there. And we'll just do, see it's now showing up really nicely on screen. And then we'll do the other one. Up this side as well, while we've got the colour in the go. So we've nearly painted everything once, so we're not quite there, but we're nearly there. Okay, cool. Let's move that down away. So if anybody's thinking about those Facebook Live classes, and I know for a fact that there are some people on here that have done them, then why not recommend one you enjoyed? So recommend which Facebook Live painting classes you've done of mine that you enjoyed. That might help 
somebody to make a decision. Sometimes you go on there and think, oh, there's no way I'm going to be able to paint that. And actually, it's not as bad as you think. Sorry, my candle's getting quite low. It's okay at the moment. Right, a bit more cocoa butter. There you go. Nikki's got an opinion there. She's done two. Loads of you have done the elephant. Loads. Right. Let's clear that out. Okay, let's have a look at this bit that's kind of round here. And I was umming and ahhing about this this afternoon when I was um, practising with the blue because I did it in blue earlier. So what I did in the end was I got a hold of this colour and I added some white to it and really paled it out. So even more pale than the original colour. And all I did was literally just dab this in. So it's going to look pink. But that's fine at this stage because, again, we're going to come back and we're going to fill that in. So don't worry about it. Because we want this to be a little bit pale. I'm using paintbrush number one at the moment. When we come back and darken this up, it'll look, it'll look right. It'll look a bit funny at the moment. Like that. Okay, and then what we'll do, there you go. Loads of opinions coming through about what sort of Facebook Live classes there are. It's all very well if me going, oh, you know, this is the best class, this is the one I recommend. The best people to recommend the classes are the people that have done them. Mm. So, do you not think? Yeah, I agree. Elephant, there you go. Someone's like the elephant one. Mm. Because then you've got an, um, you know, first hand experience of mm. them. Some of them are really adaptable as well, like the. Um, particularly the floral heart one is a really good one. Mm. Painting macrons, we know we've, that you would make lots and lots of macrons on this site. There's a lovely floral macron one. Again, just tonight until midnight, you've got the chance to get them for 50% off. So don't miss it. Okay, just need to use that code Black Friday. Okay, don't forget to use that code. Right, okay, there we go. We've got to that point there. So we've almost covered it. We've got some snowflakes. And we've got a bit of mistletoe to go and then that's all of it covered for the first time. Thank goodness. So it always feels like the longest road ever, but we're nearly there. So let's mix up a little bit of white. So we're going to give ourselves a base colour for this. I'm just going to move that up there. Can you see how many people are coming through with all the things they've done? Mm, it's, I hope it's amazing, isn't it? A lovely compliment to you, I think. Well, when we first started, when I first came on Sugar and Crumbs nearly two years ago, mm. I don't think anybody was painting, and I think we've done they've done wonders. Mm. So we're going to just paint that little bit of wick in there, just a little bit of white there. Okay, we'll do the same on this one, and the same on the other one, which will probably be off screen for the moment, but you know what I'm doing. Right, let's go back. I don't want to move it because I'm going to do the snowflakes. So with the snowflakes, I'm just going to follow the lines across. What brush have I got here? Brush one. So I'm just going to paint that in. I'm going to put some wonder dust on it later, but I think what I'm going to do for the moment is just get that base colour down so it's nice and strong. And then we'll have a go with something like, I don't know, pearl dust or something. Let's see if we can bling it up a bit. Can't have enough bling. Also with these patchwork cutters, if you finish this and you go, mm, okay, well, there's a bit of a gap there, you can just imprint another one. As long as that sugar paste is still soft while you're doing this, you can adapt your design. So if you suddenly decide you want an extra snowflake or two, which actually I'm thinking might be a very nice idea, then you can do that. And they're quite quick to paint the snowflakes because they're just this and then maybe the luster over the top. See, they're looking really pretty, aren't they? I actually quite like those. What else have we got? I shoved them all to one side here, sort of very graciously as we went live. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? I'm getting the giggles tonight, honestly. Where have I put that one? Oh, there it is. I do like this. I think we should have another one. Where should we put another one? Oh, I don't want to put two, that's too big. Okay, I think these are really pretty. Let's try and put a few extra ones in there. Let's put another one there. Maybe put another one. Let's we'll, we'll work that out as we go along. Mm. See, I'm adding now. So I'll put another one there. 
And again, while we've got white on the brush, we'll go across and we'll do all the snowflakes. But it's when you look back at it, you can go, oh, actually, I might like another one there. There you go, look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now, I'm just going to get to these mistletoe berries. So I'm just going to put some little blobs here. Just literally swirl a bit of white around there. Okay, and then back to the snowflakes. And then I think what we'll do is we'll have a look at the whole thing and then we'll decide what else we need before we then start shading. I think that's take a little a snapshot moment to have a think and see what we think. I'm going to have to put some up the side there because I managed to look at it. I put my big paw prints on there earlier. Ah. So we're definitely going to have to put a snowflake over that bit. <laughs> a big one. I managed to do that very badly. So we'll have to cover that with something. I mean, you probably won't be able to see it by the time we put the cake and everything on, but I can see it and mm. it's driving me crazy. Oh, I see you've drawn a, um, like a, a mark where the yeah, there's a go. There's, there's a square. Uh, well, it's not yeah. square, it's oblong, oblong actually. Yeah. I've decided to do an oblong cake because mm. I've got a new fireplace cutter and it's part of that. So we're going to have a lovely fireplace at the front of this cake next week mm. when we do the cake. And oh. that's going to be our feature for this particular cake. And I'm going to show you that. I don't know if I'll have time to paint it tonight, but if I don't, I'm going to point you in the direction of YouTube because I've already filmed it. So you can have a little look. It's like homework. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody go yeah. and watch the video ready for next week, please. So I'm just going to put some white on this parcel here, I think. White, red and gold. That sounds all right, doesn't it? Sounds good. White, red and gold. I can live with that. And then a little bit of mistletoe on the end there. My um, wrapping is appalling. And is I get it? it oh, I'm awful. What, Prezi wrapping? I can't stand it. Oh, I'll do it for you. I've got absolutely zero tolerance. Kelly does it all for oh, me. I love wrapping. <laughs> I can't stand it. I just, I'm so mad when I'm wrapping. Oh, oh, honestly, if you saw it, you'd think I was insane. But I just, it just drives me crazy. I don't know why. It's always been something I've not mm. enjoyed. Right, there we go. Okay, so everything is painted that we've got at the moment. But what we're going to do is I'm actually just going to add a few little snowflakes going up the side of the cake where I put my paw prints earlier, which I don't particularly like. So I'm going to just literally stamp some strategic snowflakes over my mess that I made going up the side of the cake. So this will cover this nicely. I'm going to use the larger mm. one here. So let's move that across and we'll do the same on this side. We'll do about three. I'm not going to bother to do any round, one round the back because no one's going to look at the back, mm. are they? And if they are, what are they doing looking round the back there? That's where we hide all our mistakes. <laughs> Who would do that to you? Can't look round the back of a cake. It's naughty. So we don't want that. So these are quite quick to do, aren't they? So you are literally just following the lines with a bit of white and they stand out because they're on green okay so don't forget that my cake board is not white it's green and it's done with I've done this with colour splash leaf green so if you want to know what colour I've used as a base you didn't put a lot did you I didn't put a lot no. in no you don't need a lot of those colours hmm. you're going to see in a minute the other side where I've made a bit of a mess of the why still on screen? Yeah, just about. Um, yeah. Who's just written that comment about beginners cocoa butter painting? Geraldine? No, someone before that. So like the comments are going so fast. Because um. the beginners cocoa butter, what they just wrote was so true. It does help you understand. Mm. So I do a beginners cocoa butter painting class, which is four projects. And if you complete all four, you get a certificate. Oh, wow. I know. A bit of motivation for you. Um, and it really, really helps you to understand this, understand what this is all about. 
because it can seem a bit overwhelming, a bit daunting, but actually it's a really nice hobby. And you know what? The weather's so horrible at the moment and so cold. I, know what I do say, though, every time you do this, I'm just mesmerised. <laughs> and I can't seem and to you're, concentrate on And you're, comment. in your own admittance, not a huge fan of, of I, painting. I, no, but you make it look... And you make it look so easy, but it is easy, especially when you emboss it the way that you do. You can't really go go wrong, can you, really? But... Well, this is where I made my mess over here. I grab it. I know. I I grab this with my hand, just as we went live. So I'm gonna. Pay, I've got a snowflake over the top of it. So I'm gonna cover up my mess, because otherwise that will really annoy me. I'm gonna have to. I don't know where I'm gonna put this cake board, but I tell you what, I'm gonna have to look after it for a week because otherwise. Oh, so and then you're gonna do it next week. I'm gonna do this next. Yeah. So I'm back on Tuesday okay. next week. So if anybody normally watches me on Tuesday nights, this is a bit of a random night for me because I was out last night so we are having a we're going back to Tuesday next week right there we go this is where I've made a mess so I put a snowflake over the top of it and that will cover up the worst of it no one's going to see it I think lots of people get hung up on detail like little tiny details if you just move on you'll find that it's the whole picture rather than one little area that you need to worry about. Somebody asked me earlier today on YouTube, actually, I've not replied yet, um, what do I do if I've made a mistake? I think it just depends largely what the mistake is. If you've painted a bit in the wrong place, it's much more difficult to undo mm. than if you've painted a bit um, that you can use um, white to paint over it, let it dry and then paint over the top in the correct colour. That's quite a good way around of doing it. But if you've actually, I don't know, put a bit of black in the wrong place, then you've got a bit more of a problem because you can't get it off. Um, it doesn't sort of come off very easily. So you just need to be a little bit careful. It sounds like I might put you off then, but I won't put you off. There we go. All right. So our overall board at the moment, I'm going to just move this out of the way. So that's what we've got at the minute. And then we've got snowflakes going up the side of the board there like that. So that's looking quite cool. Right, let's get into some of the detail. So let's go back and have a look at the stuff on this side. Here we go. You need the wiper though. Mm, shortly. I'm going to wait for the snowflakes to dry okay. before we put those on. So we're going to go back to this candle and we're going to use a bit more red. I'm actually going to have to change this tea light. I'll tell you why, because I feel it getting colder. Oh, yeah. Can you feel it? It's getting you can colder. See it's going to go out. Yeah, soon. and what's happening? When the t when you lose your uh, um, when you lose your heat source, everything just gets thicker and thicker to the point the paint just becomes absolutely unbearable to paint with. So you do then need to start with a new candle, which is pretty easy to install. She says confidently. Oh, I should never say those words on a live ever. <laughs> Not word, really, no, no, I know, because the word's pretty easy to install. Usually means something's going to go wrong. Um, there we go. Pop that on there like that. So if you have got um, a candle system, then you just change your tea light. If you've got hot water, you need to go and boil your kettle again. Okay, let's bring that back in again. Yeah, I could just feel the paint getting quite thick and mm -hmm. difficult yeah, and not easy to use. So let's get rid of it and then we can move on. Right, paintbrushes. Let's go back to what have I been using? Paintbrush one at the moment. So let us use, what have we got here? Paintbrush three we need. Let's use paintbrush two. And we're going to have a go at using the candle. So we're going to just increase the amount of red that we've got in here. So we're going to go more towards um, red without so much white in it now. So we're going to pick up the red and go towards this mix that we've made before. So it's not going to be 100% red. It's going to be just redder than it was before and what we'll do is we will for this case we'll just I don't know we'll just dot some colour over it like that and we'll just take hold of our brush um, our dry brush and we'll just kind of flatten it Tracy, down a bit. Adrienne has asked is the offer only on the Facebook live classes? Yes strictly okay. on the Facebook live classes tonight it finishes at midnight so you have all of my live 
and then obviously whatever time afterwards until midnight to do, to do that and you must use that code black friday because it won't when you get to the checkout if you don't put that code in um it will just charge you full price so you must put the code in and once it gets to midnight the website switches itself onto the normal mode so you'll find you won't be able to do it after that okay um let's move that across and we'll just do the same with this little one here so we're just going to put a few dabs of a stronger color in position that's what we're doing just so it's not flat so we're not covering it we're just making it less flat but if you go too far with this you do need to kind of oh, i was going to say squash it down blend it I use painting terminology not just terminology i've made up <laughs> Is that a technical term? No, no, no. Just made I've just made that up. Right, okay, so we're going down here as well. There we go. And just again, just be quick, don't leave it because it will get spotty candles, otherwise, we don't want that. Right, okay, so we've done that bit there. Now we're just going to go into this bit here, and what we're going to do is we're going to, so we're going to back to this wick this wick bit what did I paint it earlier because I'm keeping my eye on what I did so I'm just going to take some white and a little bit of pink and we're just going to brighten this edge up might not be dry enough yet oh no it's okay just going to kind of swirl that around a little bit I want this to kind of look a bit rusticy. I know this is sort of how we're going to do this a bit more white so just kind of Dab that bit like that. Okay. And then we will go across to do the next ones. Again, you might as well do the same thing. If you've got three three sets of the same thing, just do them all at the same time. Otherwise you'll sometimes when you work across it and you get to the other end and went how did I do that or you've mixed a colour and it's not quite the same by the time you get across here so just always do it at the same time okay so we'll leave that to dry like that lovely back we go here now let me think about this for a second we are going to do let's do these candle flames so we'll make that orange a bit more orange so we'll add a bit more red I've flooded it over this side, which is not really helping me. And then we'll take some of the darker orange colour at the bottom here. And I've got quite a fair amount of cocoa butter in here, so I may not even need to blend it that much. But if you need to blend it, then you can just take a small brush to do that. It doesn't take very long. There we go. Oh, where are we? I nearly put it in the wrong colour then. A little bit down the bottom there. It's just a little bit more kind of heat, I guess, at the bottom of the flame. Oh, good, I'm still on the screen. I'd have to keep moving it. So we just focus on the bit at the bottom of the candle rather than the whole thing. There we go. All right, we can move that back there. Right, we'll leave the candles where they are for the moment and we'll come back to those. They're sort of heading in the right direction now, but we're not quite that far. Let's have a look at this bauble here. So we're going to make this red much more red now. So we are going to go into the red itself. And what we're going to do is we're going to paint it. I've got here brush one. but We're going to kind of just clip the side of it. So we're not going to actually paint over the whole thing. We're just going to go down the side of it here. Not sort of very thin. Like that. And this will start making it look a little bit 3D. So I am using a fair bit of the brush. Like so. If you've not quite got it in the right position, turn it so it makes it a little bit easier for you. And then down here as well. And then what I can do is if I take, in fact, I'll use my zero brush for this. Let me just get that going because this is right into the gaps here. So 
So if I take my zero brush, the patchwork cutter has given me a little bit of an outline so I can go round with the red and let my brush just drop into that gap. So I'm not on the surface, I'm just dropping into the gap that the patchwork cutter has created for me. Like so. Okay, see that looks all right, doesn't it? Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. We're going to move across the board now, unless there's something I need to duplicate. I think we'll just stay with what we're doing at the moment. So we will now go to back to the holly. I'm going to increase the size of my brush again. So we'll go back to a number one. That'll drive me crazy otherwise. And then we're going back to moss green, but we're going to moss green with less white in it. So we just want almost neat moss green with a little bit of white in it, not too much. And what we'll do, because the other thing with patchwork is we need to get into the gaps. So we'll take our brush, we'll push right into that gap now and we'll follow it down. We're just going to paint over one side. And by doing that, it starts to become sort of quite 3D. I'm just going to take another brush and just squash that down. So I'm not going to paint the whole thing. I'm going to go down one side and you'll see it suddenly start to go a bit 3D. So this is the same colour, but with no white in it. And then I'm just using this kind of dry brush just to pull it across there like that. And the same with this bit here. So we're not trying to go over it, we're just trying to paint down one side. There we go. Like so. It's like a highlight. Yeah, it's like a highlight. That's a very good description. And we'll do the same with the bow as well. So what we'll do with the bow is we'll come down here with the darker colour. Again, we'll just blend it in like that. Come across the bottom of the bow there. This Christmas midi set, so if anybody's got this Christmas midi set, there is so many little bits and pieces in there that you can paint. There's everything. We're going to use the, there's a little stocking. We're going to use that next week on the fireplace. And there's a little Christmas tree. There's a very tiny little um, snowman. There's all sorts of different little bits and pieces and it's a really sweet little set actually. So if you fancy kind of just painting some cookies or something, you don't have to do a big posh board like this if you don't want to. The thing is with doing something like this, it just gives you the opportunity to be able to do lots of different bits of painting and that. So um, let's go on to this next bit of holly. So again, down one side, push the brush in, take the dry brush and just kind of pull it across a little bit. Hopefully it's starting to look a bit more 3D on the screen. Is it looking 3D? It's good. Yeah. Love it. And that's coming from someone who wasn't a painting fan. <laughs> she says to me, what are you doing? This was, what, weeks, weeks <laughs> ago. What are you doing tonight? I said, oh, I think I might be painting. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, she says. And now she's converted, you see. The more you, I don't know, I'm just... You're learning now, you, you see. You are, not only that, as like I said to you earlier, the, with the cutters, it just, the the image is there. It's easy. It's almost like a colouring by numbers. Jo, I was just about to say. It's just follow... Painting by numbers. Yeah, that's right. And I don't know if my <laughs> daughter Charlotte's watching, but Charlotte does painting by numbers. Oh, and yeah. they are quite funny. <laughs> Can't you pass oh, she's pictures. some hilarious ones. Um, I'm just going to take that down into the middle there. There we go. When you get quicker at this, you can kind of do two or three leaves at a time. I think it also depends on how big the area is. That's all right. But you can see the difference already. If I move this across, the difference between these and these is quite substantial. I know they're darker, but you can see the difference a second coat makes. So it is actually quite important. So we'll go across and we'll do this bit of holly here. Okay. 
was going to launch into a Christmas carol then, but Facebook probably shut me down. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> So just to recap, that all your Facebook live classes are half price tonight. Tonight, yeah, Until tonight only. They were on Black Friday, but because I um, I just decided that because I was painting tonight. Mm. I would give some people the opportunity, hopefully they might be inspired, you see, the opportunity mm. to have the Black Friday offer that I've had on. So as long as you use that code, Black Friday, mm. then it will work. And if PayPal's chucking you out, try and tap, tap your details in because it tends to work like that. Right, I'm going to leave that there for the moment. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the mistletoe next. So we're going to use the woodland green with only a tiny bit of white in it. And we're going to do the same thing. We'll start over here because I'll end up missing one. So the Facebook Live classes, don't forget as well, there is a pricing class. And so many of you, how much for this cake? How much for that cake? Let me open your eyes and have a look at the pricing class. That's also on the Facebook Live class mm. offered tonight as well. If there's, that'll be the best bit of money you've ever spent on learning how to price your cakes because it will change everything for you. So if you're one of these people who who charges for cakes, friends, family, customers, whatever, then that class is like is some um, fifty percent off as well. So don't forget. But it's only tonight. Okay. I've already done the offer. I did it the weekend, so I'm just giving you an extra opportunity tonight while I'm live. But I'll, I'll enrol you in the morning. <laughs> I can't enrol you from the bath. <laughs> Literally, no. <laughs> it's not happening, people. Okay, I've there got we go. iPad in the bath or something or the Mac. Oh my God! Don't say that. Yeah. You did. No, I said, I, I would, I'm so oh, clumsy, that's yeah, what I would do. Yeah, exactly. No chance. No. So, just do that across there. How are we doing? Perfect. So, a little bit more across here. So, because these are quite a bit smaller, I'm just going to do a few at a time. I'm not going to just do one, otherwise I'll be here forever. like so now there is actually a stem on this which i will probably what brush have i got one let's switch down to brush t um what have i got here zero there's a stem that comes out of this so if you need the smallest brush to get into this stem because if you don't and you use a great big chunky brush it will look horrible so make sure you go down a size to do that one there we go okay Tracy, um, the end your classes can be found on the Tracy Man Tracy Man Cake School dot co dot uk. I'll just put it up quickly yeah. as a question has just come up. Mm. Okay, so that's where you need to go for the Facebook Live class offer. Nikki's trying to put the link as well. Oh, she's a star, isn't she? She is. She's that promotion that's gone to her head today. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Oh, she's good. Right. Okay. Where do we get to? Back to here again. So you're probably thinking, well, look, you've painted it now. There can't be any more to paint. Oh, yes, there is. Because we want it to be lovely, don't we? We want it to be perfect. I've actually... Uh, have I assigned this cake to somebody? Yes. I'll tell you who's having this when it's done next week. South Central Ambulance Service oh. are having this cake. So they're the people that are lined up for this one. I did the midwives at John yeah, John Radcliffe I yesterday. That. That's yeah. so nice. They had the white wreath. Yeah. The green wreath one, the one that I was cursing last week, that the went to A and E Stoke Mandeville. So there you what go. What's wrong with the buttercream? Don't ask. <laughs> Everything. Was it? It was traumatic. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> let's go back to these candles now. We're just going to go for red. No other colour but red. And we're going to do some shading. So I've got paintbrush number one, I'm going to use my paintbrush number three and we're going to create a difference between these two candles and some shading at the bottom. So I'm going to just take hold of my darker colour, I'm going to come along here by the holly, I'll just go round like so and I'm just going to take my brush and just squash it down a little bit, okay, like so. Now this is going to come out beautifully on the camera and very mm. difficult for me to see. So I have lights shining in my face. So I'm going to go underneath this 
sort of wick bit thing that they've got coming out here. I'm going to enhance that a little bit further in a second. And then we're going to come down the side like that and then just blend that across. Okay, lovely. And then we'll do up here. So down that side. I wonder if Marion's watching tonight. Have you seen Marion Frost's name coming up? Marion who? Frost. Frost. No, sometimes she's watching. She's probably forgotten. I did I can't remember if I told her I was doing patchwork tonight or not. Hmm. So by putting in a dark line there, can you see it separates these two? Beautiful. How's that coming out? Mm. Love it. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to work across this now and we're not going to jump around because then I can check it all as I go. And then I know I won't be missing anything. So I'm going to just go back in here with this red colour and I'm just going to very carefully just tuck this underneath that section there, like so. And just take it, I'm going to just squash a little bit in to that bit there and just flatten that down. There we go, that's better, like so. Yeah, this is where it now starts to come to life. Who's just said that, Nikki? Yeah, she's yeah, right. It does. This is where it starts to change. And that all the waiting will be worthwhile. So put that over there, like so. Right, I'm going to put a little bit of, uh, what should I put in there? Put a little bit of white in there. We'll put a tiny bit of red at the bottom, only a little tiny bit. Just there. Like so. Okay, just so it's got a bit at the bottom there. Just gonna hold on. There we go. Okay, that's coming on very well. <laughs> right, back to the holly. So at the bottom here, we were using the red. And then do you remember we added white to it? So we can now go in and shade these by just using neat red. So I'm just going to put a little bit of red on the side of these berries, like so. Okay, so I'm not going to go in and put loads and loads of colour in. And then I'm going to take some, I'm going to clean this brush actually because it's got green on it. Let's get some, clean that up for a second. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hint of snow around the base of these candles. And that's what I'm going to start doing anyway as we work our way across. So I'm going to grab some white, which I'm mixing here. And I'm going to very carefully just kind of dab some colour at the bottom here or dab some white, I should say. I'm going to go over into the candles as well. And just a little bit around the holly. And then just kind of split it up there, put a little bit behind there. Like so. How's that looking? Lovely. Okay. Right, so we've checked that. Candles are now with the going before we leave the candles, they have got marks on them. So if you wanted to go around the outside edge of the candles, I'm sure some of you are saying no chance because that's thin. You get the right brushes, you can do anything. So as long as you switch down to a zero brush, you're going to be absolutely fine. And you can literally just take your brush and just go round if you want to. Just maybe tidy them up a little bit. Okay. And then we've got a line.
line in the middle there as well. There. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can always tidy them up like that. Okay, let's move on. So we're going to start working our way down across the whole thing now so we can check things as we go. Uh, let's have a look at this bit here to see if we've missed anything. So what I would do here on this one is I'm just going to go back in with my Wonder Dust once more and just go over it, although it's just a little bit in places, nothing too dra dramatic. But I know that this can be very, very bright and that's what I want doesn't actually help if I forget to mix it and it's lumpy. Do I want this as bright as I can get it? Because it's very, it's stunning this colour. So I'm just going to go over it once more and you'll see the change in it and how much it's picked up. Is that coming out on camera? Yeah, it's really mm. shining now, nice. isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Okay. So that's that. And then what we can do, if you particularly want to do some detail, you can always put like a little spots on the bow. So if you fancy doing a sort of spotted bow, mm. you just put some little dots on it. You don't have to be huge. <laughs> that's just because she wants to frame it. You want to frame on it? Yeah, on the wall. <laughs> that work. Oh, it's going to disappear, isn't it? But you can do all sorts of things. So if you want to sort of, you know, make it spotty, stripey, whatever you want, you can do all of that. And we'll just continue with our snow along here a little bit. I feel um, like I'm checking. Geraldine has asked if you're using oil-based paints as using cocoa butter. So this is dusting colours and cocoa butter, okay? So... We're not using, um, the the oil, oil is mm. the cocoa butter, mm. all right? So that's what... So the paints aren't oil? oil. No, the paints the, are dry. Dry, yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to do these three, rather than me keep cleaning my brush, these three sets of holly berries. So I'm just going to put a little hook over each berry. That's all I'm doing is just clipping the side of the berry. And then what I want to do before they before I forget. I can hear. Can you hear my brain ticking? I can. <laughs> I can hear it. I'm just going to put a little dot. Can you hear that everyone? Yeah, a little <laughs> dot in the berry, I know. What, what were you thinking? Out loud. Yeah. <laughs> what colour dot shall I do? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking something really silly and that's why I didn't say it out loud because I sound like a lunatic otherwise oh, I'm losing the plot here so we're just going to do a little black dot there okay oh and we're going to do this one here as well which is probably off, off camera but I'm going to do it anyway because otherwise I have to keep moving it yes there you go see that makes that pop as well now what I'm going to do with my snow actually I've now decided and take that down a bit further. <laughs> what are you doing laughing at? Me. Me. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a cluster of snow. So where it's a bit thicker around there. And then it gets a bit sort of a little bit lighter there. And a snow cluster. We actually had snow. Unbelievably. I couldn't believe we had snow this yeah. way. We never get snow oh, here. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Because I... There's a lady on here, Sylvia. I think it's Sylvia. She lives in the Shetland Islands, and I do love that idea in the middle of the summer because I can't stand it. It's just too hot. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you watch the weather forecast and it always talks about Lerwick, yeah. doesn't it? Lerwick. Yeah. And and I said, Scotland. I said I'd love yeah, to Lerwick. go to Lerwick <laughs> this week, and then she contacted me and said Aww. it's 15 minutes down the road, and I thought oh, well, I like that idea. Mm. Right, we'll just go a little bit more along here. I'll take that down there. Aha, Holly, no, candles number two. Let's go back to our candles. Right, okay, let's get some of that red colour on there. Now, I'm going to try and use this brush too, having said that. 
these are very small so I'll do my best I shall try my hardest to get into these tiny little I'm managing okay that's because I don't have to be too precise about it you see there we go okay and then what we'll do is I'll just put a little bit of cocoa butter just put a little bit at the bottom like so and then we'll just take that brush and just blend that in it's very tiny these little ones but they're very sweet I don't want to miss them out I've got black on that that's not helpful get rid of that color I'm going to, have to put some more cocoa butter on here I'm running out and then don't forget you've got these flames you can outline you lucky people I'm sure you're all thinking oh no but it's really not that bad if you've got the right paintbrush that is paintbrush zero really not too bad right I'm just gonna have to put some more cocoa butter on here because I'm completely out oh what I've got left is an undetermined colour now right let's put those back on there that's it okay look we're halfway now we're coming nicely along this board so we're getting there all right I'll just clean up this mess right what are we doing a good question more snow okay a little bit more white we're going to get those wonder dusts out in a minute and have a go at the snowflakes and we'll put this under here so don't make this solid kind of just use your brush sort of stipple it i guess it's okay for it to be solid in a few places but not lots of places aha the present the present right i'm going to move that there let's have a go at this let's tidy you up so let's start with the red i've got to make you as beautiful as the bauble on the other side so we'll just put some highlights in to start with Mm, there we go. <laughs> I'm reading Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> Geraldine says halfway. I can't spend another two hours no. in the bath. It's not halfway, as in I'm not about to now do another hour and a half's worth. I can assure you. You mean halfway across the board? Yeah, I'm halfway across the oh. board. Yeah, and I've just made a mistake. So okay, that's fine. It's because I was talking. Let me get rid of that. I don't want that there. So if I've made a mistake, I'm just going to paint with white mm. over the top. So we'll outline this in red. That's why I'm struggling. So let me just do it in a paler colour and then I won't worry about making mistakes. In fact, I've got the board at a very stupid angle, so I'm having a job to get to it. Let's move it. I'm wondering if... Um, Doe's thinking now that she's going to have to do some more painting, you see, as she sort of paraded her last, <laughs> look at me, I finished, and I yeah. thought, yeah, I'm going to get yeah. you for painting again. I did, I, it felt like a bit of a challenge, for which I must apologise for, because she doesn't get any housework done, she's telling me the other day. <laughs> It's all my fault. So busy painting. I said to her, I don't get any done either. <laughs> to me, it's a bit of people, people jigsaw, don't they? So Yeah, there you go. And it's, it's just it's just a way of just turning off. Yeah. Isn't it? There you go. That's what we're saying to you. Yeah. It's, it's allowed, everybody. Yeah. It's a switch off time. It's, it's allowed. It's your own time. And actually, the joy of doing these boards is that you can do them in advance. So you can actually get them all done mm. before. You have to do the cake, which is what we're doing now. You see, we're going to have this beautiful board. Mm. And then when we do the cake next week, mm. we can spend the time focusing on decorating the cake. And what we're going to use is some more of the patchwork cutters. So we're going to use the large snowman 
large Christmas tree and we're going to use my fireplace mold and we're going to make a really lovely sort of fireside theme um, and that's what we're trying to do here we're going full-on traditional Christmas um, but um, just presented long... it's just a question for me not not anybody online but it better be how... a good question then <laughs> How far in advance could you make that ahead of Christmas? A month at a least. A month? Oh, oh yeah. that's good. Start so painting like... now. Oh, wow. Okay. When we 24 days till Christmas? 25? Wow. Something like that? Yeah, start now. Mm, okay. Get your boards done. So Elizabeth has said she was trying to place an order for Northern Ireland and says that she can't deliver to the address. Oh, it will be the postcode. Is it will be it Well, it will be the PayPal system probably. So oh. just um, watch your postcode. Watch how your postcode's written. You've got to make sure you've got capital letters and a gap where it should be. Try again. If not, just drop me an email and I'll sort but it out for you. you do deliver to Northern Ireland. Yeah, well, I do. You? I go to Northern Ireland. I love Northern Ireland. Yeah. Right, let's do this final candle on this side. Oh, okay, it's saying it can't deliver to my address. That's not true, is it? No, but what no. it's doing, it's it's not the website. It's the payment place. It's, ah, pay, so it it's PayPal. Be... And what they're doing is that they've changed their security. So some, you know when you go on your phone, you put in like autofill or something. Mm. You know sometimes you press those, well, it, mm. it's just randomly yeah. chucking them out at the okay. moment. So it's just a security thing. So just try again. If there's any problems, just let me know. I'm quite happy to help anybody. No one will miss the offers just because they couldn't get through, okay? Mm. So as long as you email me, I'm happy to help well, you. Sheila has said that it happened to her and she manually typed in the postcode and it worked. Yeah, it's to do with yeah. the... It isn't the website. It's the, it is the the payment systems. Mm. Um, yeah, it's something they are doing. Um, I got an email about it to say just to mm. let you know and I thought, what? So I'm just doing the same now as what I did with the other candle. So I'm doing it a little bit quicker. So I'm just putting in some more shading on this side. There we go. Okay. Take Beautiful. some red. So we'll go really dark red now. To make it pop. And we're going to make it pop, people. Yeah, it does look nice. thing is, the better view is always on the camera rather than in front of mm. me. I look up it, and I go... The, is it because of the lights? Yeah, it's because the main lights are shining yeah. straight at me. But when I look up, I can mm. see oh, yeah. what it's no, doing. It's gorgeous. So always a bit extra at the bottom. And then we'll just do a little bit of the other in here. So at the bottom of the candle. Tracy, you don't have to have a PayPal account, do you, to pay for your classes? No, you don't. You no. don't have to have PayPal. You you can click through to PayPal and then what it does is it, it get, then gives you a choice whether you pay by your PayPal account or you pay by your credit card. Credit card. Okay. Yeah, PayPal, if that's what they do mm. anyway. Okay. Right. And then I'm just going to take my little tiny brush, just go around the outside edge of that flame. Now that came out quite harsh, so I'm just going to take my brush and just soften that down a little bit. Use a paler colour. There we go. Just soften that down a bit. And then this bit here that we had before on the other side. This is the only bit that's a tiny bit complicated, I guess. Well, it's not really that complicated. So we'll just dab some of the red in over here, over the top of the white and the pink, and then just flatten it down with this brush here. Okay, and we'll do the same again. Whoops, that was a bit strong. Let's go back a bit. And then squash it down. Why am I saying squash it down? Blend it beautifully. Blend it, beautifully. Blend it people. Blend it. <laughs> oh, there you go. Elizabeth's got hers to work. It will be that it's the. I know it seems silly and everybody thinks it's the websites, but it's not. It's PayPal mm. and probably an iPhone as well. Mm. That's usually involved in there somewhere. 
sometimes, like you say, the auto. It's the auto fill yeah. that does so it. Just imagine manually going yeah. and do it. Right, so we're going to come along here now. We're going to have to be a little bit careful around this um because I've just done it, and otherwise, what'll happen is I'll end up with a pink pink snow. If Wayne has asked, do you paint naturally, as in what? as a hobby? Your, your mum paints, though. My mum she? is a brilliant. Yeah. My mum is ace. I don't know if my mum is on here, actually. Um, sometimes my mother watches. If you see her name, mother, if you're watching, you please make a comment. She'll sit there going, oh, Tracy. <laughs> she Aww. will, because my mum is so quiet. Aww. She's the reverse of me. And um, my mother <laughs> is amazing. And my father, they're both really amazing Good painters. painters. I do like to paint when I'm, I'm not working but because i'm working so much mm. i start painting something and then i go that'd be a great class mm. and then i convert it yeah right let's go back and have a look at these snowflakes where's the wonder dusts let's have a look what yeah. have we got here right pearl snow i think let's try that shall we i've got a bit of everything in here what's this one starry night mm -hmm. let's see what starry night does okay Let's put some bling on here. Oh, God, I've just chucked it everywhere. Okay, good job that was off screen. Oh, hot. Very, very hot. Let's try Starry Night, which I've thrown everywhere, so we won't look at what I've done. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. Okay, so Starry Night. It's got a hint of blue in it, I think, oh, is it? Do you think? Yeah, it has. Hmm. Okay, let's see what that looks like on our, oh, on the snowflakes. Let's just do little areas of the snowflakes rather than the whole mm. thing. Look. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. Let's see what that looks like. We might end up doing the whole thing, but for the moment, let's just do a few little bits. Beautiful. Actually, that is really nice, actually, isn't it? Do you think the whole thing? Mm. I think the whole thing. Let's do the whole thing. It is nice. I'm just going to dab that colour in. Yeah, it's really nice. Actually, do you know what? I think mm. a combination of some of these painted with this and white. Mm. So in other words, don't paint them all in this. Paint some. Oh, I see what you mean. So you keep some yeah. white and then the others and some starry night. I getcha. Mm. Mm. Starry night. Okay, let's do another one over here. Let's do oops. Let's go that way. Let's do this one. Yeah, so do a mix, I think. That's the answer. I haven't got much space left on my palette. I've no, you got colours everywhere. You need two on the go. I do. I need a jumbo size paint <laughs> palette for my lives. <laughs> <laughs> well, I put two colours out. I've not even used tonight. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, but blue and today. blue and brown. Oh, I haven't yeah. even. Well, I think because I know what the brown was for. The brown's from my fireplace. I know what I was thinking about there. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to show you in a minute what we're planning to do with this cake, and then you'll know what you're coming. You're letting yourself in for next week, okay? Yeah, actually, it does look nice it's with the gorgeous. odd one. Yeah, and not all of them. I see what you mean. Yeah, so not all of them that colour, just some. Yeah, it's still on, yeah. Because mm. I think it makes a difference. It's all about having different kind of. I suppose what it does, it creates texture, doesn't it? So mm. you've got your eyes are moving all the time around the whole thing. And then if you are making a mistake and you perhaps blobbed it somewhere and you think, oh, God, no, then at least, you you know, you will know, but mm. no one else will because mm. they'll be busy looking at the whole effect. Lots of lovely comments. Well, I'm hoping my mother or Marion Frost is going to pick up on this. She hasn't answered. <laughs> Where are you, Come Marianne? on, mother. She's probably watching. Watching. She'll be going, oh, no. <laughs> I'm doing a live on one of her, on her birthday. Oh. The 14th is my mother's birthday. Oh. So I'll have to sing to her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, really will, she really will disown yeah. me. <laughs> oh, good. 
Right. Okay, last one over here. And then what we'll do is we will just have a look at the petal snow and just see what this does. So this is Starry Night. Just in case anyone wonders what colour this is. This is Wonder Dust Starry Night. And if you put the link up. Oh, you see. She's a good She is beyond good, isn't she? Okay, so that's Wonder Dust Starry Night. Let's have a look. I'm just spotting a bit over there. I've missed Let's just do um, Pearl Snow Luster. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, the only issue here is that I have got about an inch of space left because of me just putting stuff everywhere. Hold on. Right, okay. I've got to get it on the metal paint palette, otherwise it's not going to work, is it? So let's get rid of that cocoa butter there. Yeah, you can do the candle in any colour you like. Sort of Nikki's just pointed that out. Mm. So, you know, if red ca red candles aren't your thing and you want to do, I don't know, white, mm. you know, normal colour candles or green or blue or whatever, you can change them. Just follow the kind of blending instructions, I guess. So this is, oh, that's nice. This is pearl snow mm. over the top of the snowflakes now. The reason we put the white down first was to give this a base because sometimes with some of the luster colours, we certainly found it on white chocolate. If you're painting on white chocolate with cocoa butter and the luster colours, they need a base colour first. So if you're going to do, for example, frozen blue, put petal blue down first and then put the other colour on. Otherwise, it doesn't cover very well. It's much better to do it that way. So this again is just making the board look more interesting because it's got a bit of a shine to it. Mm. You see? Yeah. So next week I'm going to paint the fireplace. We're going to paint, uh, the cake's already going to be covered. So I'm going to cover the cake in advance and we're going to set up the fireplace that we've got and we're going to do a garland. We're going to pipe a garland and mm we're going to create a sort of warm and glowing christmas scene by the fire is this starry night out of stock at the moment too oh i don't know because i don't sell it is oh, it out, and crumbs. is it out of stock on sugar and crumbs uh, donna's just commented that it's, it's the oh it's still out of stock okay well stock. i can ransom my jar off <laughs> to the highest bidder <laughs> <laughs> oh dear <laughs> Okay. Like well, Walker's crisps at the moment. Are they difficult to get hold of? Yeah. See, I don't really eat crisps. Yeah. So that's, if it was a bar of chocolate, I might know about yeah. it. But, you know, if Cadbury's dairy milk had gone in short supply, I can assure you, I, 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 they'd be, unfortunately. Yeah. I think they'd be murder. Yeah, they would. Driving over to Birmingham. Straight to Bourneville yeah, factory. Bourneville, yeah. Themselves. Okay, so last. Mm -hmm. I'm whizzing through these ones now a little bit. Okay. And then you can always use a little bit of this dust in the snow as well. So you don't just have to have flat white snow. If you wanted to take this colour, this pearl snow colour, I'm trying not to get it into the cerulean blue, which is right next to it, but you can also sort of add little highlights in there as well if you want to. Or you can take some of the glitter. Now I've got to always be careful, I pick up the wrong one. Something like Finishing Sparkle, that's mm. quite good. And then you can literally, if you're very careful, you can aim this, because it's like on a little sort of pump dispenser. You can aim this at the snow, rather than sort of covering all your lovely painting. And go across the bottom. Gosh, I hope the cake's going to live up to expectation. I've got this super duper board. Now I'm worried. Mm. <laughs> I can't really see that. Oh, you can now. You know that you've moved it. No, now you've moved it. Yeah. Now I'm just going to put, because I've realised I've missed one little thing. I'm just going to put some little dots in some mistletoe here. And there, because I've just spotted those missing. It's only when you keep going back across it mm. that you spot little things missing. And I think that will be it then. And then what I'll do is I'll show you the elements of the fireplace that we're going to tackle next week. And then we'll get that all onto the cake. Well, I'm just going to put that over there out of the way. 
Right, if I turn mm. that round, you're going to be able to see the majority of it. You're going to be able to see all up the side, but you get the general idea anyway. The majority of it's down here. I'm just going to put a tiny bit more glitter on there, like so. I don't want to completely glitter my leaves because I'll end up losing it all but there you go mm. I worry too much <laughs> okay so that is our board for next week and then what we're going to do was we're going to assemble a fireplace you like my pump sparkle I know it's good mm. isn't it um, we're going to assemble a fireplace from my fireplace mold which is going to go at the front of this cake so our cake is going to be here we're going to have a fireplace here with father christmas we're going to hang a stocking on it we're going to have a garland on it we're going to have all sorts of things and we're going to be painting the fireplace so the fireplace is painted with cocoa butter we're going to assemble it which is good mm. so i'm going to show you what it looks like now so we've actually got the mold already so that's the front of the fireplace so obviously it's in white chocolate at the moment and we're going to I'm going to put that up there for a minute so that's the front of our fireplace and we have got a little father christmas who's going to be coming down the chimney so we've got him yeah. there as well <laughs> and then we've got a little wreath that we're going to paint and we can pop that onto our fireplace as well. And then the fireplace itself becomes a 2D item, which means it's kind of built up and then on the front as well. So I'll show you all the bits that go with that next week and we will go through it so that you can see how it's all done. Very exciting. OK, so that's the fireplace. I'm going to put my fireplace out the way now before I break it. There we go. Oh, my biggest fan is Joe Doe's <laughs> Stay. she's going to be going to those boards tonight she's not going to be able to help herself is she right there you go okay so that's tonight's demo so we are doing painting so don't forget that this facebook offer is on i'm going to come back on screen now so this facebook live offer let me put this address up now is on now so you've got between now and midnight to get yourself 50% off a Facebook Live class. So you can book them all, you can book one. It doesn't, really doesn't matter, book as many as you want, but you must use that code Black Friday. It's really, really important that you use the code Black Friday to get that offer. It will finish at midnight because we've already had this offer over the weekend, which we did do for Black Friday, but I put it on again tonight purely because I'm on here doing cake painting. Um, and it's nice to kind of extend that offer out to the Sugar and Crumbs audience. So I'm gonna just hold this up so you can have a little look. So I do like to hold my cakes up at the end. You know what I'm like. So let's hold this up. Ooh, mm. There you go. Okay. Beautiful. So you can see it all now. Let me move down a little bit further. There you go. So you can see the difference that it makes with the um, the one that's out of stock. Starry, <laughs> Starry nice. night. Starry <laughs> night. You can see that one. It's made a huge difference. We can't buy it. Never mind. I'm sure Carol will get some in at some point. Um, OK, so I will be back on Tuesday next week at half past six. So this week is a, a bit of a one off. So I will be back Tuesday next week. Then I'll be back the following Tuesday after that at 6.30. So I'm back to my usual slot at half past six. So do tune in and join me again next week. For those of you that follow me on Saturdays, I won't be live till 11 o'clock because it's my daughter's birthday. We have to do birthday presents and various things in the morning and um, we will be doing that thank you very much dale's just reminded me to blow the candle out do you know what oh, i'm gonna yeah. do that live because sometimes because i can't remember anything i go home and i go do i, I blow that, that candle, candle out? out and all i do is just go back and watch myself doing it on the screen <laughs> then i know i've done it <laughs> it's ridiculous i know thank you Thank you. Thanks, Thanks you. everyone. Thank you so much. Sorry, thank you to Morella. Thank you to Nikki. And I will see you all again next week. Don't forget, Facebook Live offer, 50% off. You're not going to get better than that, but the offer finishes at midnight. Make sure you put your postcodes in. Uh, type it in properly because otherwise you'll get chucked out by um, PayPal. It's not us, it's PayPal. So just make sure you um, put your postcode in with a gap. And if there's any difficulties, then drop me an email and I'll be happy to help you. But yes, I will be here Saturday, 11 o'clock, not here in Sugar and Crumbs, but I, anyone who follows me live Saturday, 11 o'clock till 1 instead of 10 till 12. Right. Thank you very much. Enjoy your evening and I'll see you next week, Tuesday, 6.30. Bye for now. Bye.